What's up guys, OmniGamer here bringing you episode 23 of Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Uh, no headset today because I'm lazy at the time of recording this intro and I don't want to look for it. Uh, but what I do know is we're going to take down uh, in this episode the dastardly pirate known as Jonathan Jones and try to reclaim uh, the star piece and give it to that creepy elder so uh, we can try to save the town. So let's go ahead and uh, get, this ba uh, get this battle right underway. Alrighty, so here we are back in the uh, sunken ship, and we're gonna head up to the upper deck. Follow those. Alright, where's the intruder? Shit, you just ran me over, assholes. Of course you don't see me. I did not get away. I'm laying face first on the stairs. There he is! Get him, boys! Air, this is on us! Oh shit, you missed. What a dick. What the? How dare you dodge the barrel? Hi, how'd you get up here so fast? Well, your luck has run out. We don't take kindly to strangers here. Now this is weird how when there's only two of them attacking you, five of them show up in battle. But when four of them attack you, only four of them show up. Can these fishes multiply? I must say, I have no idea, but I do know that my pirate accent is the same for everybody. God awful. I probably should have watched the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movies before I did this. I mean, they're really good movies. They're not like the best movies on the entire planet, like some people would say. I don't know any people who say that, but I'm pretty sure some people would. Some people think every... There are people who think like any movie is like the greatest movie ever. Like, the Super Mario Brothers movie, for instance. Like, I'm pretty sure there are some people who think that's like the greatest movie ever made because it's Super Mario. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I could probably make a better Mario movie, though. If I had the time. And the money. And... Well, I have the program, I guess. I don't really need too much, though. Probably be, like, a B-rate movie. I'm going off on a tangent, though. I tend to do that a lot. But we're gonna take out those bandana reds. That was fairly easy. And I think this just hit me. I think Terrorize has the, uh... Added effect of lowering their defense. Which is cool. Alright, so we're gonna grab that since we are heading to the lair of Jonathan Jones. Jonathan Johnny Jones. Which means I am going to backtrack. And I am totally gonna save. Because I totally need to. Oh, fucking Zeo stuck. Shit, I'm just gonna run then, never mind. Damn it. Please let me go. Please let me run like a bitch. Damn it. That's fine, I'll just take him out. I'm not exactly convinced that this battle against Johnny's gonna go all that well. Alrighty. So you know what, we'll just take it as this. I don't want to fight through all those guys, and I probably will die on my way back. Because jumping upstairs is so much harder than jumping downstairs. First things first, we heal Gino. Um, you know what? I'm actually... Eh. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Okay. So you're the Mario, eh? <laughs> not much to look at. Well, this star fell into my sea, so it's mine. If you want it, you'll have to fight for it. And here we go, the epic battle between Johnny and Mario. Even though Johnny's got all the bandana blues with him. Um, now, a trick to... Uh, the bandana blues are basically the same thing as bandana reds. It's just they're bandana blue and not red. I think they might have uh, a little bit stronger stats since they are uh, coupled with uh, Johnny here. But a good... Um, a really good strategy is to... Uh, Johnny has two different colors. He's blue right now. And then he's got another color where uh, he ends up uh, turning red. And one of the and one of the things which you want to end up doing is try to take out three of the bandana blues. Because if it's just him against you three, when he turns red, he's going to challenge Mario to a one-on-one uh, -on -one fight. And it's it's a really cool idea. It's really nifty, especially for um, you know especially for people who like uh, taking care of the little guys first, myself included. I actually got screwed over in this fight the first time I played it. 
because of the fact I killed all the little dudes and then Johnny was like, Hey Mario, here's a one-on-one -on -one fight. And I'm like, oh joy. I might go back and uh, show off the one-on-one -on -one fight, but I'm pretty grossly underleveled right now and I already don't think this match is going to go all that well for me. But we'll find out. I might show the cutscene if I get closer to... Uh, if I get closer to uh, his death where I think he's going to die, I'll uh, initiate the one-on-one -on -one fight so he won't have too much HP left. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright. So a lot of this pretty... Uh, it's pretty rinse and repeat. Uh, fortunately... Yeah, see, here it is right here. Get tough. So now he turns red. Now if you were to kill that last guy, he's going to challenge uh, Mario to that one-on-one -on -one fight. But I don't want to do that right now because I'll die. He starts busting out a bunch of like weird moves like... I, I don't know. I don't know if he's more attack oriented in this state either. I don't know if his, his stats alter at all. Or either way, I'm not really sure. So, but um, one thing about Johnny is he's actually a uh, he's actually a good guy. I mean, he's a pirate, so I mean, you know, he finds treasure. The star is obviously worth something to him. He doesn't want to give it up. Um, one thing about one thing I like about Johnny is uh, actually his sense of honor in the game, which will actually be. Uh, It'll actually be displayed at a later uh, at a later point, but you learn he's not really a bad guy. He's just a pirate. I mean, pirates most of the time are bad guys, but in this case, Johnny isn't. Well, I mean, well, you know what I'm trying to say. Stop judging me for my lack of coherent speech. I'm gonna continue throwing Mario at him and have Mario punch his face in with a hammer. Oh, there he goes. Ah, damn, that sucks. After that round, I was gonna. Get rid of the bandana blue. Oh well. Unfortunately, I don't have to worry about him anymore. And uh, I'll do it. I'm probably gonna fail. Ah, it was the middle. Damn it. Oh, unfortunately, I don't lose my experience. And 57 experience is fantastic because now Mario reaches level 22, or not 22, level 11. Mallow reaches level 11. And that is just swell. I'm impressed, matey. You've earned the star. Think of it as a souvenir of our fight. Alrighty. I like how Bowser gets all sad that Mario gets the star. Mario is like, I got the star! Gino's like, one more star collected! Bowser's like, fuck, another freaking star. I don't know, Bowser's... I, I don't know why Mario agreed to bring Bowser along. I mean, yeah, he's tough and everything, but he's such a dick. I don't know. You must have really wanted that star. Now go on, get out of here before I change my mind. <laughs> Johnny's our main man. He even fights in his sleep. We'd follow him anywhere. Hop on the trampoline in the next room. It'll take you outside. Go on now, give it a try. I don't know why I didn't give them an accent. And I don't know why I used a singular A before a vowel, but who knows. But yeah, now we move on to the next stage of the game, returning back to Seaside Town. And now we're going to learn why all these people are so creepy. Hehehe. <laughs> you found the star. Well done. But your journey ends here. You're so gullible. Don't you know who I am? I'm Yardovich, member of Smithy's gang. Shocked? It's no wonder. My impersonation of an ordinary person was flawless. Your search for the stars has worried Smithy. So if I take that star back to him, I'll earn brownie points. This is the way to get ahead. It's futile to try to fight me. Just hand it over. Nice and easy. Uh, I am just going to hand it over because I know I'm going to have to fight this guy in time. And what he'll do if you refuse is he'll go ticker the el tickle the elder so much, and it's just it's not something I want to do. So we're gonna we're gonna hand over the star. <laughs> and to think I got the star without even soiling my hands. I'm such a genius; it scares me sometimes. No wonder I'm so important. All right, everyone, listen up. We're returning to the castle. Our ride should be here about now. Son of a bitch. 
So the reason this was locked, those guys were guarding it earlier, is because the Elder, as well as all the real townspeople of Seaside Town, are trapped in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to save. And we're going to prepare ourselves for another boss fight. I should have enough time to fit this in there. I don't think it'll take long. Well, it might take longer than five minutes. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to uh, do this cutscene real quick, and then we're going to jump into the fight after that. Blade's late. What's taking him so long? We need to get out of here. This is just great. Mario caught up with us. Only one thing we could do now, although we may rust a little, we'll have to swim for it. Oh shit, here come the pirates. <laughs> Not so fast there. That star's a gift to me, mate, Mario. Just spineless dogs have no code of honor. We'll make you walk the plank. Uh, Johnny, maybe we should leave Mario the pleasure of wrapping things up here. <laughs> I guess we'll have to take our disguises off now. Group formation! And... Holy shit! 